Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and that is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. It is also gallery wrapped so I'm feeling like I'm taking big risks but uh, Michael's had a 50% off or a 50% off and another 20% off coupon. Um, these are acetate sheets. They are one 16 by 20 inch sheet that came out of a 16 by 20 inch pack of value pack of canvases from Michaels. I'm hoping to use them in a most productive way and we will see in a moment. I have also beside me other little acetate sheets, which I have to warn you, the worst thing about them is that you want to keep them all and if you were going to make a collage with them, you wouldn't know which side to keep. But um, I, I do plan on sort of making a collage with them at some point in time. So right now I'm going to dump them off. And uh, I'm not going to put anything white or black on the background yet to move or flow paint. And I don't promise to start in the center. I think my whole thing with this is I just wanted to use up some paint and there's no paint in there. Ah, there we go. It was like there's no paint in there, but there is. Let's just use that up until the marble falls in. And I'm going to be trying to make some more of that color because I can tell you what, I love that color. All right, that's going in the bucket. And I'm going to put some other color next to it because there's obviously not a lot of it going on. And what else? Mm, maybe nothing else. So let's just drop this little card right in there. What is that on there? Is it on that side? Maybe it's paint. Hopefully it's paint. All right. So I'm just going to drop this on this side. I'm also going to take that paint that I see and put it right down over the edge right now because it won't be the same color later for sure. So I'm thinking that I want to do the starburst that I'm trying to do with um, an off-center circle. I don't, excuse me, an off-center center. There we go. And I kind of wanted to go around and around and put some lines down, but the truth is that it's very hot out here today. And if I do that, I'm taking a big chance. So I'm just going to take the colors that I've got that I know I like, dip them in, run them over, see how that works. I'm going to scrape that off, cheat with my finger for a second, and take the colors that I know are on my edge catcher which is now a swipe sheet, swipe card. Put them over there too. Some of which went nicely down over the edge. And since my turntable is rotatable, I'm gonna rotate that sucker. Um, turntables are not available until Martha Stewart, hello Martha, um, helps me out or helps you out. It's, uh, it came from a patio table, the rotating ring that's underneath my 16 inch tile. And it would be lovely to have another one. But I did approach corporate or sent someone at MarthaStewart.com an email a while back and nobody got back to me. And it's time to do it again. Because I know a lot of you would really appreciate having a turntable, which reminds me. Um, my friend Jackie has in her basement, or her work area, um, a recliner to salvage. So the base of that recliner obviously rotates, and I think her intention is to dismantle it and then use the rotating part of it as a turntable. I think that's actually pretty interesting sounding. Okay, I want some white with that, or some pearl with that. I want, I want a clear tip too. Okay, fine, be that way. So, is this the moment when I go ahead and try some different stuff? I think it is. And where's my bottle? That is the DIY Now Rapid Art Mines. Um, purple Zeist, multi-surface, neon pink that I've added golden fluid acrylics to, golden iridescent medium. I call it a medium, but it's in the paint section. 
Now, I haven't tried to actually dip these yet. It doesn't mean I won't. I'm using kind of sheer colors. I'm not minding the patterns I get from... And wiping off the card on the side, I know I interrupted myself. Wiping off the card on the side is working somewhat, and it's, and it's a good thing because trying to fill a two inch or however many inches it truly is later with a color isn't going to be that easy. So I'm liking all of that purple, and the last thing I did, I used some purple. That was risky. Just laying it right in there, trying to get a little bead of paint along the edge. And pull that one out. And, uh... Yes, am I? <laughs> I gotta put the card down. Son of a gun. I don't want to put the card down. My paints are already getting too close. I just broke the bamboo skewer tip off in the end of my bottle. This time, I'm going to let some of that yellow go right down over the edge. And I'm going to think about what I want to put with that. Do I want to put something else? A little darker? Yeah, I think so. That was nice. That's the red that the last time I used it, it red-orange, that it um, became a blooper or almost became a blooper, I should say. I think the nice thing about this canvas being bigger than the tile today is it means that um, I can go right down over the edge and cover without the tile interrupting me in my way. Although it's looking a little browner over there than I want it to. And I think I can go back in here at some point in time. I'm going to have to wipe this off if I want to have it wiped off. And I do have a wet rag, and I am going to do that. Just because it's the first time I'm doing this, and I want to see... And I could have grabbed, seriously could have grabbed, another clean card, which is probably the better idea. Now, I'm going to put some more down here. I'm going to put some more all the way over the edge. I'm going to put a lot more down over the edge. Whoops! Not that much. Okay, that much. I'm going to see how far I can drag it. That's a really sheer but very iridescent pink purple color that I have been thoroughly enjoying. What is that? That is a thing that does not belong. That makes me want some Prussian blue. Don't ask me why. My muse just went Prussian blue. <laughs> it happens. She hears voices. Only about colors though usually. I keep wondering if I should just pull them out and let them be randomly uneven because that might be its own interesting effect. I'm going to do a little white pearl and I'm going to get more and more brazen as this goes on. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please. Okay, so I'm going to be the one handed skewer. I got it in my teeth now. And I don't mind the purple on there, or the pink, whatever you want to call it. I think I'm going to take that right over the edge right now while I can. Whatever it looks like, it'll be closer than what I'm going to try to do without damp paint. As I stripe along, whoops, there's not much whoops, except for when I see stuff that's lumpy and crunchy. Lumpy and crunchy must be evicted. 
not a good thing to find the next day. I like that. Basically making a rainbow. <laughs> Again. Oh well, never mind. I like rainbows. I know a lot of people like rainbows. Is that going to come out? No, of course not. Back to the teeth. Alright. I can do this. And I don't mind the colors I have on there. I think they'll be fine. I'm going to go right down over the edge, just like I have been. Because something will be better than nothing there, for sure. I like that gold, but I think it needs to go over the edge. Right there. Yep, I'm making a big mess right there. That's okay. Sometimes the coolest stuff results from a big mess. Fluid acrylics were never that tidy to begin with. Ooh, I have a, a pretty greenish, bluish, metallic color down there. Which for me, I think that means it's time Maybe grab another sheet. Let's see if I can force myself to do that. Nope, I can't. We've got five minutes left, and we're almost halfway. Don't go over there because you won't be able to deal with it. Now, when it's hot outside, it's not a good idea to put more color down than I can manipulate at one time because if I do that, I'm, it's going to dry up on me and I'm liking the effect of being able to cover things. If I could keep it very wet and I were in a much cooler environment, I might try and uh, lay some cards over. Now what do I have that's super dark? I have that. Do I have enough left so I can use some? Right there. What else? I kind of want some minty green right there. And I've let my body get in my way. And I don't mind that there's still some, some paint on my card. I could grab a clean card. So it's, I'm thoughtfully not doing that. I'm trying to be a little bit slow. Yeah, that's okay. I think it's time for a clean card. I'm going to let the colors just dry on there because I can. Because I can! That is the name of my book on the Amazon link. Alright, so, seeming that time is going by so quickly, I think it's time to really just have, have at whatever I'm going to do right over here. Um, what am I going to put in there? I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in there and hopefully get away with it. By pulling it all down over the side right now and a couple of swipes down and uh, seeing how that covers. Letting whatever's on the card go back into that gold. And go down and cover again. Some of these colors I'll be able to reproduce. Let's see about this. This orange. Move my paint out of my way. I got one minute left. Be 
before I have three more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I can tell you, whatever I'm going to tell you, which I might as well. Where is that neon pink gone? I might as well tell you now, as soon as there it is, I can find it. I want some gold in there. Which is, if you shop my Amazon link, it's no added cost to you, and it helps me out. And you can find cool stuff there, like the OXO omelet turning spatula. And the mica powder that I make my gold out of. And the uh, Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. Wait, I can show you those. Can I? I've chained. Whoops. There they are. They're really useful. Maybe not at this exact second, but they're really useful. Oh, that gold turned out great. I haven't put any black in here today. I'm kind of happy that uh, the edges are turning out as well as they are. I might as well try and remember to uh, use my finger a little bit pick up some paint here. I could probably pick up some paint here. Put some of that over there. Just let it pull off without getting too frisky, hopefully. I can see that I'm, I might really want to go back over a few things. Okay, I'm not going to worry about cleaning that card off. I'm just going to grab another card. And I'm going to drag all that paint, pushing it. And I like that color so much. Wait, i got to cover my edge. Alright, so where was I? I was telling you that I have Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook albums that are not working right now that show the YouTube artworks. Bummer. Uh, so go and join Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors and you should be able to see those albums um, until I figure out another way to find some time and fix that. Um, I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house. I will probably be doing something like this in a second. What am I going to do? I'll let that go right here. I'm going to put, put some more gold in there. And use a corner. Am I? Yeah. Probably not very, not very cleverly. Catch it while the paint is still wet. Somewhat. Alright, so that's not bad. And we're counting down to the last 45 seconds. So I should tell you that on the end screens, there's a playlist with over 550 videos. I have merchandise at fineartamericanpixels.com that if you go to my Facebook pages and follow the Shop More button, you'll find all kinds of stuff I've posted there since 2013. And some of it's really cool. And, uh... I'll just be working over here and talking and forgetting what I'm saying. I have Teespring. It's under the video. And uh, you can find the studio slogan there if you're a Because I Can fan. You can have a t-shirt or some other item with that printed on it, maybe. Depends. <laughs> Depends on whether it's there or not, I guess. Anyway, I love you guys. I want to say thank you very much to everybody. I appreciate all the contributions. And if you make contributions to the studio, you should do it through... PayPal and Patreon, and those are also under, they're on the channel header for my YouTube channel, and they're under the video, and if you do so, you will be included automatically in a contest. I'll send you an email reply, as long as I have your email address, and uh, I'll share with you whatever this month's uh, prizes are, and if your name is drawn, you'll be able to choose which one or whichever one you want. And I will be playing with this for a while. And I think it's time to say, I'll be right back, <laughs> because we're out of time. And this is Priscilla Batsell, at the end of part one, in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, saying I love you guys. See you in a minute. Bye for now. You can find my website on the end screens, too. I'm going to set my, set my timer again. I should probably change that so it's cooler. Hopefully you can see all that. I'm glad I offset the... Okay. See you in a minute. Bye now.